Hey everyone, I've just got some time to sneak in a quick video in between work and I saw someone asking the other day on the forums if Reason had a device that was similar to Ableton's drum rack uh, that could do time stretching on drum hits and initially I thought it doesn't but it'd be good if it did and then I kind of realised that all of the bits that you'd need to build one are actually already in Reason and it's super simple to set up so let's take a look at how to do that I'm going to begin by dragging in a combinator and then a mixer device you can either use the 6.2 or 14.2 uh, depending on how many channels you need, but I'll just use the 6.2 for now. Next, I'm going to go ahead and drag in a grain. And there's just a few simple things we need to do to prepare this for drum playback. So I'm going to set the sample window size to full so that we get the, uh, the full drum hit. I'll set the playback motion to one shot as we don't want it to loop. I'll change the amp ADSR to full decay and release and zero attack. And that just means that when a drum is triggered, uh, it doesn't have to be sustained for the whole sample to play. I'm also going to turn off uh, pitch to keyboard tracking as we don't want the pitch to change depending on which key the grain is assigned to. I'll give the level a boost and then finally just set this to retrig and monophonic. Now obviously if you want your drums to overlap or be polyphonic uh, that's fine you can set it to higher than one but that's just how I have it set up um, by default. And that is actually all of the preparation work uh, for each sort of channel of the drum machine. So I'm going to collapse this and copy the patch and then I'll drag in another three grains to start with and then paste that patch into each of them. The next thing I need to do is go into the programmer and by default all of these grains are going to occupy the full keyboard range when what we actually want is each grain on its own key. So I'll start from C1, uh, as this is the first key that the drum sequencer player triggers. And then I'll just go ahead and assign these chromatically up from C1 through to D-sharp 1. So all that's left to do now is just expand these, and I'm going to start dragging in different types of drum hit to each of the grains. So kick, snare, hi-hat, and so on. So now I have all my samples loaded, and I have a grain set to trigger uh, on individual keys. I can then play this like a drum kit. Now the cool thing is that the sample browser remembers which folder you originally loaded the sample from. So if you wanted to audition different kicks and snares, you could just use the up and down arrows. And now you can use the different grain algorithms to do time stretching and compressing on each of the drum hits. And of course the other really cool thing is that each drum channel uh, has its own multi-effects, modulation matrix, and filtering. Where things get really crazy is when you start automating the different parameters of each of the grain engines uh, for each of the drum channels. So here you can see that I've automated things like the rate spacing, speed, pitch jitter, and even things like delay amount and tuning. So I think this is a really cool example of the way the Reason environment allows you to kind of solve problems that you have uh, using the different tools that are at your disposal. And also, you know, there's nothing in here that isn't included with Reason 11 Suite, so you could do this right out of the box. And of course, if you wanted to add additional layers such as a, a conventional drum machine or perhaps the NNXT or 19 sampler for non-granular stuff, uh, then you can just mix and match that in uh, to build your ideal drum machine. You could even add uh, synths into the mix and you know use the drum patches that come with those. So for example, the Europa synth comes with individual drum instruments such as bass drums, claps and toms, and then you could map that to an individual key and you know mix it in with the granular stuff. 
And then once you have all of this set up, all you need to do is just click save on the combinator and it's gonna package all of the grains and any other instruments that you use in your drum machine into one preset that you can recall at any time. So you only need to do this initial setup once and then it's ready to use in future. So I hope this has been a useful, if brief, tutorial video. If you have any questions about any of this or how to set it up, then just feel free to put it in the comments below. And thank you for watching.